Hey PNWs, welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring the Silverwood theme park in Athol, Idaho. It was a really cool experience, so let's get into it. First up, we stopped by security, got checked in. This was a really quick and easy process. They did a really good job making it easy to get in. Appreciate that. Pretty large parking lot, so keep in mind when you get here. We tried to park a little further back. We figured it would just be easier when we left. Go through this tunnel to get towards the park. And definitely takes a little while to get actually into the park. Okay, that's loud. They're making us work to get into the park. So once you actually get into the park, uh, you really see it has this really nice old school charm to it. People were really friendly. Honestly, I think it looks better in person than video even does it justice. Uh, so definitely enjoyed the aesthetic. Thanks, and sir. And just it. all around, we had a really good experience at this park today. People were really helpful. Lines were quick. We were What's able that? to get around relatively easy. It was a Monday, so that may have made it a little easier and less crowded. Um, but we did go ahead right, and check guys. out a few things. First thing we're going to come up on is the train station. And what's kind of cool about this train station is they have multiple different times throughout the day to watch diff different shows. And you look at what it is upon each hour the train takes off and comes back. We did not actually do any of the train shows today. We just didn't have enough time to get on and do so the train because like we wanted to do a little exploring and see everything we could in the park. But I would say that really to get a full feel of this whole park, uh, two days would have been better than the one day that we actually did at the park. So I did a little quick look at the train. It was fun to see everything that was going on with that. And we made our way over to the carousel. Okay, well, which one do you want? Come on. Okay. Are you guys ready? And after the carousel, we made a quick decision on what we were gonna do and decided that, you know, we were yeah, gonna we do the water park one. first. It was, it was a hot day. We wanted to make bit. sure that we got in yeah. there and yeah, checked everything right out We're for right there. Here. We are gonna have two different videos here, so we have already uploaded the Boulder Beach video. So if you wanna see yeah, uh, what our day was like at the water park, that will be linked at the bottom as well. And had a really good time at the water park as well. Yeah, I kinda feel like um, you need more than one day to Really, explore. like I was saying, if we had had more time, we would have spent the full day at the water park and then the full sure, another okay, day. Well at the theme park. So show you a little highlight snippet of what we did at Boulder Beach. So as I touched on earlier, we spent most of the time at Boulder Beach. So coming here into the Carnival Games area, we kind of made a decision pretty quickly that we were going to head towards the kids' rides, try and get as many rides in for the kids as we could, and really see how they felt about going on rides. They hadn't really had much exposure to them in the past, so this was going to be a good opportunity. You ready? You ready to go? Hi, Drakey. Here we go, Lily. You ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Does that make your tummy feel funny? Good job, baby. You're good. <laughs> Okay. 
gonna drop. Are you guys ready? Oh, we're getting high. Oh. Oh! Oh! Uh oh. Oh, it's a big one. Hey dude, hey, we're going on a roller coaster. Hi Ate, hi mommy. Oh my gosh, here we go buddy. Whoa! 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 That was a good kick. Oh, here we go! He's spinning! Whoa! Whoa! Here we go again! Mommy's behind us! Hi, Mommy! Okay. Are you okay? Was that fun? <laughs> that poor little girl that was behind us. Did you see the look on her face? She's just like. Yeah, above 54 inches. Keep pushing, or you'll go higher. The only real downside for me in this park is that it does close at 9 p.m. weekdays and 10 p.m. on weekends during the summer. So you don't get all the cool lights in the amusement park or in the carnival type games. So that was kind of a bummer. But we made our way over to Roller Coaster Alley, which is where all their biggest coasters are. So you're going to see their log rolling one and all sorts of cool coasters along the way and we were gonna see if Aaliyah my oldest daughter would be ready to go on one of these she seemed kind of excited uh, but we took a look at a few different coasters here and you'll see them as they come first one up is the stunt pilot and this is probably the most intense coaster in the amusement park so as you can see pretty cool coaster um, didn't have anyone to watch the kids so we weren't able to go on it uh, but definitely something I'm looking forward yep. to coming back and going on next year. Watch this one, Lily. Up next, this was the probably one ride that both my wife and I said there's just no way you could ever get us on this thing. Uh, sometimes it would go all the way over, sometimes it would stop you when you were completely upside down and then bring you back down. It just uh, it seemed like a spinning nightmare of a ride and we just felt like this was not the right for us so we stayed clear of this one and we had the excuse the kids weren't well, tall enough taller, so can can't one. really go on it until the kiddos are taller oh are they going over oh 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 oh, oh my god they made you off So this is the moment of truth for Aaliyah. Uh, Timber of Terror we had heard would be a good starting bigger coaster for our daughter. 
So we left it up to her to decide what she wanted okay. to do. Are you sure you want to do this one? You want to do it? What? So for this year, it looks like the big coasters really, are really out, but yeah. we decided to go around and look at all the big ones that we could see with the limited time we had. This right here was the Tremors uh, wooden roller coaster, which is apparently a little bit more extreme than Timber of Terror. Up next, we looked at Aftershock. This one I'm pretty excited to do as well. It looks like kind of a Superman type ride. You basically go down and back in a big loop going both ways and just looks like a really cool coaster. So Aftershock is definitely on the list for next year. So at this point, it had gotten pretty late at night. We did not get to see everything that we wanted to see. Kids got a snack. We did a little bit more walking around, checking things out. Honestly, what I can say is I was really impressed overall. Lots of good rides. The maintenance on the rides was great. Very few rides were actually out of service. The water park earlier in the day was great. Uh, the staff was great as well. Very friendly. Just the overall aesthetic and the feeling throughout the park, we were really happy with coming to Silverwood this year. Alright. Buckle ourselves in. Here, I'll take. No, you're fine, man. Okay. Don't worry about it. Oh. Hi. Rock the mama, rock the mama. Keep coming behind us. Oh, there's my Wait, we gotta wait to get unloaded. All right, buddy, did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah? All right, guys, well, that wraps up our time at the Silverwood Amusement Park. Hopefully this was enjoyable. Uh, had a lot of fun with the kids. Definitely think it should have been two days here at the park. Spent a lot of time at the water park, did not get to all the rides that we wanted to. Some of the rides the kids just weren't tall enough for, but a lot of fun, uh, had a good time. So until next time, keep exploring. We'll see you guys soon, take care.